Well, as far as starting, you know, it's kind of something I can't even say, you know, because I remember painting murals when I was three and getting into trouble because they were on people's walls. <laughs> so it's always been something that's been there. Tracy Charette Fair says she has always been an artist, so but what started out as a hobby has now turned into a tribute to her heritage. The Métis artist recently featured an exhibit celebrating Métis women at the Winnipeg Art Gallery in 2021. Her exhibit, Heartbeat of a Nation, was a celebration of more than 250 years of Métis women. And a lot of it I'm focusing in on the women because, you know, in the Métis history and what we know, we, we hear a lot about the battles, you know, of course, the important, you know, battles of Batoche, the Métis resistance, Louis Riel, Gabrielle Dumont, but nobody talks about the women. And they worked side by side, you know, and they were involved in Batoche. And, but they're the ones that link us through kinship and through our bloodline. And, you know, I really feel that they're not, that we have not been uh, given the due that we should have. And that that line, you know, connects us to our First Nations history, our grandmother, you know. So, so to me, it's really important that the women be honored and recognized. She traced her grandmother's Métis heritage back to 1770. 2020 marked 250 years, so she made 250 clay wood-smoked bowls. The bowls represent, in her words, the domestication of the women who birthed the Métis nation. I wanted to recognize women, so I'd make 250 bowls representing 250 years and give them to 250 women, basically. What I am hoping for from those women is I want them to give me the name of a Métis woman that they want to recognize. Anyone, doesn't have to be someone well known, it could be their grandmother or somebody. And then I'm gonna take those and turn them into a textile tapestry. The exhibit also features tapestry from her family's history and pays homage to her aunties. I always knew that I was Métis, like we, we, we did, but there was such a bad, because there was so much stigma and so much racism and in the community where my, my, my family came from and I was there too for only for the first six years of my life and my mom passed away when I was six and so there was this cut from our community and from that part of my family so this is a reconnection I, I, I reconnected with my aunts quite a long time ago but hearing their stories and really you know it was it's really given me much more sense of who I am Tracy says she will be giving the bowls out between June and August and will start making textile artwork in September. She is also completing her master's degree in fine arts. With all the learning, artwork, and tracing family history, she says she's rediscovered herself. It's a rediscovery. I think that's what I would call it. It's a rediscovery. It's a resurgence for me of the Métis um, culture and not just culture it's the identity and like who are we and you know why do I feel compelled to even talk about it because for years people told me not to talk about it they said you don't look me at why would you why would you even talk about it you know there was a real and then realizing this is all part of the colonial system you know it's part of this attitude that's been around for so long is to silence you